What the hell is this 100 gigs about? I don't know, but just for content purposes. <sighs> Academics. Lord have mercy. Let's react to academics going over the hard drive. You know what? Let's just let's just kill two birds with 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 one stone. Instead of me just going over it, not knowing what the hell. I mean, let's kill two birds with one stone. Are y'all cool with that? I think we can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is So let's see what good old Aki Wacky. Let's see how academics reacted to this hundred gigs. You know, instead of me just going down and just open up the file, we, we can kill two birds with one stone. We can see what's on the hard drive, and we can talk about academics. You know, best of both worlds. So let's see what academics had to say about the horn, the a hundred gigs of boo boo. Are and how your life is, and you're miserable. That's all I need to know. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Destiny. Thank you. thank you for calling in. I'm, I'm glad you called in to give some some context because this. this but is wait, first... when are we gonna do our live stream? Uh, <laughs> we back in New York. Anytime you're on the East Coast, hit me. Okay, love you. Okay, text me. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <sighs> love when my ops baby mom call me. <laughs> Life is good. Spready. Hmm? Spready. I could be the doctor. Phil. In the case of so 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 so, Spready Gibbs, you remember when? In the case of so 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 so. Spready Gibbs, you are. Nah, I'm not gonna say not. You are the father. <laughs> the only thing I'm gonna put in the contract: if you're not the father, you gotta do some hilarious dance. You gotta do the scissor and move. You do. And if you're the father, she gotta really bust it down with the dance moves. She's like, like, come on, bro. Come on, come on. All right. Anyway, anyway shout out to Destiny Cream. She doing her thing. Hey, listen. She keeping herself relevant. I ain't gonna hold you. She is keeping herself relevant. Every time, every time we think like, is the last time we heard about him. Nigga, I didn't even hear about Freddie Gibbs in a while. I heard about his baby mom. So whatever. All good. Okay. Let's get to actually some shit, man. What's going on with DJ Mustard, bro? So DJ Mustard just came out and, and he did an interview with the LA Times. Now, remember I told you I had a conversation with DJ Mustard. This was a conversation I had after, um, you know, he was basically tweeting out some stuff. Let me see. DJ M- Mustard Drake um, academics. Like, let's go back to these tweets. So remember when Mustard came out and said this. You know, I announced that he was selling 18000 and... Mustard said, Drake is a Malcolm X of white people. And academics, make sure you post Gordo's first week since Drake thought he did a thing with making him drop on the same day as me. Since this is Drake Bosser, the nation of Drizlam. So I'm not mad. Yo, that's, that's actually funny. The Malcolm X of white people. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually funny. I don't mind some basketball game. Um, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I talked to Mustard that day, and, and Mustard was really convinced. He's like, yo, listen, Ak, Drake is in his feelings. He's super upset. He's mad that he lost this battle, and he's doing really weird shit. He's like, don't, don't you see it? I said, well, like, what, do you, what do you think he's doing weird? He's like, hey, do you think these all these like LA dudes are getting their shows canceled at this one place he owns in, in Canada? So that's one. He says, number two, I'm, yeah, I'm the producer of Not Like Us, and I've just been seeing a whole bunch of weird stuff that has to do with him, even behind the scenes. He's like, bro, do you think that Gordo's date just moved to that, 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 that um, particular whatever? By the way, I spoke to Drake about this, and I can tell you exactly what I said to him. I said, Drake, I don't even know if you would tell me the truth, but I'll ask anyway, right? Um, and, and the reason why I said, tell me the truth, because if Drake was really doing some evil maniacal shit, like, why would he be like, yeah, I'm doing some evil maniacal shit, right? Like, he's not gonna be like, yeah, of course I'm doing the evil maniacal No, he's gonna be like, I don't know what's going on, right? So, so I basically said, bro, like, I, I'm kind of asking this, but I'm not really expecting, like, for you to, like, tell me the truth, right? I'm expecting to hear an answer. But anyway, the answer he gave me was this. He says, academics, please listen to me clear. He says, I'm gonna quote him directly. He says, I'm not that broke to be given a fuck about trying to have someone drop on the date that DJ Mustard is dropping. Like basically he's just saying, my nigga, I'm Drake. Why the fuck would I care about DJ Mustard's album? You know what I mean? Like basically that's what, what, what the, uh, like his comment was like. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Ain't nobody lying. No need to fear. Ackman is here. All right. We know Ackman is going to do what he do to make his boo look good.
No need to fear. Act Man is here. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody believing that shit. We know Drake is a petty dude. We know he petty as a motherfucker. So it is definitely not hard to believe that Drake allegedly might be behind this. So stop the cap. You ain't fooling nobody just by you saying that you spoke to Drake and Drake said, I'm too rich for this. So that's his response that he's not broke enough to cancel um, Mustard show. So you're basically saying that he's he's too rich for these games, huh? Yeah. <laughs> His own mystique gives me the same. All right, so who's the point of reading this shit, man? Come on, get, get to the goddamn point. Shit. I don't think I want to make a song with that dude. Come on. He's a strange guy. Also strange in Mustard's view. Come on. The president who's ran as get, weird get by the Democrat it. shared something with the get a load Come of this tone. Of get it not out. Like us. Come he on, says, I mean, we got some weird cases too. Mustard says of Trump and his associates. Quote the line it. from Kendrick Lamar's song about a member of Drake's crew who's been accused of assault. Essentially, what's the important part here is that this this um paragraph could mustard ever see him. so why not just read this goddamn paragraph from the beginning you could have skipped that 10 minutes long ass and you just this is the important part what well, now why, why not just read this shit himself producing a song for drake he says i don't think i want to make a song with that dude he's a strange guy Wow, <clears throat> interesting. Now, quickly and obviously, you know, um, Drake fans got to pull it up. Like, yo, well, that wasn't your thought right before to be right? And a lot of people pointed out that right before Mustard Drake, Drake Mustard, that Mustard was singing a different tune. Apparently, he had appeared on um, several broadcasts where he spoke about Drake, and you know, he spoke supposedly highly complimentary. Right? Listen to this. Damn, DJ Mustard, he over here trying to expose you, bruh. Oh shit. <laughs> DJ Mustard, he said that you was a Drake groupie. Mind you, I'm a call. Damn, he's saying that you was a, a OVO Mustard. Damn, Mustard. You gonna take this from Act, man? Act is exposing you of thousands of people, bro. This ain't, man, That that's crazy, Mustard. As man, come on, mustard man. Oh, I will. I would love to hear Drake on 100 bands. I would love to hear Drake on any beat. Like, Dylan is that? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> mustard, say it ain't so. You said you would love to get Drake on a beat. Oh, damn. Academics is exposing you, bruh. <gasps> say it ain't so. Damn, he got you, man. Oh, shit, mustard. Yo, somebody tweet Mustard, man. Mustard, what's going on, bro? Still waiting, Drake. I'm still waiting. <laughs> it's not too late. It's not too late. We do a remix. There's definitely a remix spot yeah. for you. Sure. Well, congrats Damn. on the album, Friday. Yeah, so apparently that's what he said then. And, um, hey, you know, I, I think Mustard feels a way that he thinks that Drake was, you know, kind of shading him or doing some weird stuff. And, Damn. Um, truth be told, you know, I don't think this clip m means that he can't say what he, he said now. Because just having a clear thought of mind, a clean tra clear train of thought, 
yeah, maybe back then, maybe they weren't best friends, but Drake was neutral with the dude. Drake kind of don't fuck with the guy now, right? And, Damn. you know, I'm, I actually believe Drake on this one that I don't think Drake was like, yo, drop on the day mustard's dropping. Because truth be told, Gordo makes house music. Gordo does house music. Like, Damn. nobody cares about a house music album's first sales, unless it's a rapper dropping that, like a Drake. But Gordo, if you guys don't know, that's DJ Carnage. DJ Carnage was when he was a hip-hop producer, and before he fully transitioned to just being, like, completely house music. Gordo is, just, Gordo is his new moniker, because all he does is house music. DJ Academics exposed DJ Mustard for being a Drake groupie. Yeah, that sounds like a good title. DJ Academics exposes DJ. It's, it's too many DJs. Academics exposes Mustard. Nah, nah, I, I got to put the DJ on there. DJ Academics exposes DJ Mustard for DJ Drake before DJ Kendrick. I don't know. Too many DJs. Right? So Drake giving him a track there or whatever and him dropping on the same day as Mustard. I don't think that's comparable. They're not hip hop albums. Right? However, Mustard feels different. So, so I agree with Drake when he's like, bro, do you really think that I'm like trying to compete like DJ Mustard? My nigga make it so 18,000. 18, no. It's like, I agree with him on that. But I can see how Mustard probably has felt because, and like many other artists, I can see Schoolboy Q, I can see um, um, all these other guys who probably feel like even if Drake didn't have a, a, a direct hand. Academics just called DJ Mustard uh, OV Ho. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> DJ Academics just called DJ Mustard a uh, Ovi Ho. Oh my God, so many titles I can come up with. And then all the, the, the stuff that's happened, they probably were like, yo, what the fuck? Like, shit's kind of looking weird. Maybe Drake's pulling some moves. Shit, this, this guy's in his feelings and shit, he's trying to do shit to me. Nigga, whether I showed up on stage at that show or I produced the song, nigga, go get mad at Kendrick. Don't get mad at me. So I get why Mustard might feel, you know, like still like whatever. Um, I can't knock him for, for standing on it, though. Pause. Whoa. There's so many rappers who are playing the 50 on this. Like, they're playing the middle. They're kind of rocking with Kendrick right now. But if Drake comes back bigger and better and is, you know, Killing oh. shit like he always does. Oh. They want to leave open the room of them being able to work with Drake. Oh. At least Munster is saying, I'm good. Like, whatever happens. If the nigga could, he could be the biggest, I'm good off Drake. I'm good off it. That's just kind of weird. I'm good. I'm, I respect him. And, and I'm, I'm going to juxtapose it to a lot of guys you believe is on Drake's side. Yachty won't give a definitive thought about what he thinks about the whole thing. Nobody's on Drake's side saying, nah, Kendrick's weird. I'm good. You know why? They're all leaving up an opportunity. Number one, if they got to go to LA. Or number two, if maybe they have to work with Kendrick later. So you got to respect someone, even if you like, I respect Mustard for at least saying, no, nah, I'm good off Drake. I'm good. Cool. Like, I, I feel like it said, D, can D, can you skip this 11 year old interview? So that interview that DJ Mustard did was 11 years ago. Damn, DJ Academic says, says that DJ Mustard, D, DJ Academics exposes DJ Mustard. By by saying eleven, shit, I got to think of something. I don't know. I'm 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 going twisted some way. Yeah, I I think groupie in the OV ho is better. Yeah, that that would draw more attention. Academic calls no. It, academic exposes DJ Mustard of being a groupie OV ho from posting a video eleven years ago. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Like he's pushing the beef that and by the way it makes sense nigga you're in the video dancing with Kendrick in every scene I know you produce a song but you're in the video dancing in every scene you don't see the producer of a diss track with the artist dancing in every scene like yeah nigga you're with them right but at least he's not like oh what did I do yeah hey, yeah yeah afro lady yeah I, I can I can twist it some way <laughs> I can twist it some way yeah I can I can trust me I can twist it some way I can, I can, I can Ooh, he's standing on I, I, I think it's weird I'm good Look, right, I can't knock it can't knock it feel me can't trust knock me if, if there's a will there's a way I, I'll figure it out later <laughs> I'll figure it out later.